our judges have completed placings in this five-year-old cow class. At this time, I'd like to recognize our junior winners in the class. If you'd please take a step forward. Second place junior in the class is added entry 3118, Maple Sugar Martha, exhibited by Chelsea Young of Tinmouth, Vermont. The winning junior entry and the junior production award winner in the class is entry 2144, Rolling Knoll's A Jan Journey, exhibited by Braxton Perry of Mingo, Ohio. Third place honors in the class go to entry 2125, Old Mill R.I. Wonder Sizzle, exhibited by Rotting House Woods, Trap and Foss of Madison, Wisconsin. Second place is entry 2143, Cruzy's Victor Judy, exhibited by Rotting House Woods and Sparrow of Owenton, Kentucky. And your winning entry, the best bread owned and the best daughter in the class, as well as your production award winner with three years, four months, 305 days, 21,774 pounds of milk, and a 4.7 butterfat test and a 3.7% protein test, Cutting Edge B. Gretchen E.T., exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Congratulations. Your reasons on this class, Judge Top. Another amazing class. Uh, I think these two cows uh, sorted themselves at the top fairly easy for us. We wanted to see them switched around, but this cow we're starting now with, what a beautiful frame. You admire the uphill run that she has. She got that depth and openness of rib. When you get behind her, she's got so much width. When you comes at you, you love the strength that she has through that front end, but she still has that sharpness and dariness. Also, she is the best stutter cow in the class. I give her an advantage. She has a little more height than width at the top of the rear rudder today. I'm giving her an advantage. She's a little more definition of seam today in the rear rudder today than the real ultra dairy cow coming out in second. You admire this second place cow. When she's out there in the ringside view, you admire this cow. She's got the snugness of four rudder attachment. You love the veination on this cow. Not a real big cow, but she is a cow that's extremely balanced from end to end. You love the sharpness and dariness, the angularity that she has, the flat rump that she has. But when you get behind her, she's just not as much width all the way through. She's not as deep in her seam today in the rear rudder, and maybe not as much height at the top of the rear rudder, but she does have a beautiful wide rear rudder attachment as well. She goes ahead of cow in third, on a little more nicer in the rear rudder today, a little nicer teat size and teat placement over your ultra dairy cow coming out in third. You admire the third place cow, another beautiful side profile cow. Just the cow is losing the quality of the rear rudder today, the fuller she gets in milk, but you admire the dariness, the angularity that she has. She just has so much more uphill run, a little more length throughout, a little more width throughout than the beautiful uttered cow coming out in fourth. You admire this fourth place cow, the cow just recently fresh, Wears a lovely mammary system as well. She's ultra dairy for just re recently fresh. You love the femininity that she has. You love the mammary system. And that mammary system and how she tracks on her feet and legs coming out of the cow in fifth. You admire the fifth place cow. What a beautiful frame cow. You love the side profile of this cow. You like the uphill run. Just not as sharp and dairy and clean as the cows above her. Maybe not as the attachments that our first and four cows has. But she has an advantage over our sixth place cow. I'm just giving her an advantage. She has a little more definition and openness today especially in the rear rib today over the real nice cow coming out in six. You might have a sixth place cow for that size and scale and dariness that she has. She just has so much more length all the way through over our seventh place cow. The seventh place cow, you admire this cow. Not a real big cow, but she is got a wear, uh, wears a lovely mammary system as well. But a great group of five-year-olds all the way down from top to bottom. 